increasing or decreasing? What do you think? All right, so you may be saying, okay, I see the negative, so I'm guessing decreasing, but let's play around with some exponents, review over some exponent rules as we go, and hopefully you'll be really confident about why it exactly it is decreasing. So it really isn't dependent on that 5 out in front, but go with me on this. I think I can rewrite negative x as negative 1 multiplied by x. All right, I think we can buy into that. All right, next up, what we want to do is I'm going to rewrite this so x is on the outside here. So it kind of form, formulates itself as that a times b to the x power, where a is the initial amount or the starting amount or the y-intercept. But b, if it was bigger than 1, it was increasing. If it was between 0 and 1, it was decreasing. All right, so b bigger than 1, increasing. b between 0 and 1 is decreasing. So the question comes, how do I rewrite that? Um, well, here's how we do it. I can bring that negative 1 to the inside. Thinking about our exponent rule that said if I want to combine these exponents together, you're going to multiply them, and you would get here. Well, you can use that rule in reverse and actually manipulate these and rewrite them in unique ways. The next exponent rule I want to think about is we have a negative exponent. I want to rewrite that with a positive exponent. So to do so, I can move that down to the denominator and make it a positive exponent. So now it lines up into that a times b to the x power, so we're in a formatting, and you'll see that our, our uh, base here, b, fits between 0 and 1. 1 half is between 0 and 1, so it's decreasing over time. And there's our solution. All right. Understanding our exponent rules takes time, but keep working with them, um, and you'll get it.